Yeah, this is my entertainment computer that I have dedicated for watching um, TV shows, movies, Blu-rays, whatever, on my big screen. And I'm getting ready to add an 8 terabyte hard drive to it. I've already got the cover off. The cover's sitting right there. And uh, had a 4 and 6 terabyte in here. I've actually moved the 4 terabyte to the underside right there. I kind of rigged it up with a couple of screws. Can't really see them here. Let me get these cords out of the way. Okay. So yeah, we got one, one screw there and another screw it's right there which you can't really see because I don't have enough light but uh, yep so that's out of the way and this is my carriage for where the 8 terabyte is going to go Just slide it in right there I already got the cord power cord and the SATA cable ready for when it arrives but yeah so I rigged it up on the underside right there it's the four terabyte western digital these are surveillance hard drives that i use so yep got a six terabyte here and uh so yeah total of 10 terabytes in this one and i'm gonna about to add another eight terabytes to give it a total of 18 terabytes of storage space so yeah so when the hard drive arrives we'll do an open box and install and we'll test it out. Ah, oh, finally, after six o'clock, I mean, started this video this morning thinking FedEx would be here sooner, but no, 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 no. Last delivery. So let me go ahead and open this up and we'll check it out. Wow, really? Let's send all this crap. Guess I get paid for that, so enough. We'll uh, get that out of the way. There's the box, Western Digital. And we have more tape. Hold on, let me. Slice this open with my scissors. I can do this with one hand. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Eight terabytes. All right. Get this out. Get that out of the way. And these plastic things. And we'll get it open here. Well, that's a weird looking label for some reason. That eight terabyte just looks weird to me but uh, yeah this is the purple drive these are surveillance hard drives but I've used them in my uh, computers I've actually got this will be number six of these hard drives I've got a two terabyte a four terabyte six terabyte and now I've got an eight terabyte um, so yeah these are more for surveillance but like I said, I've used them as regular hard drives and computers for, you know, basically they're built for running for, you know, nonstop for long periods of time. And actually my computers will run like that for, you know, hours, days, weeks, you know, at a time sometimes. So anyway, we'll go ahead and install it and uh, we'll check it out, you know, see how much space I get because chances are I'm not going to get the full 8 terabytes. I'm probably losing, you know... Yeah, a good uh, chunk of that, maybe 500 gigs for whatever reason. So, SATA, 128 megabyte cache. Um, not much more actually to say about it other than it's a SATA connection. So, yep. But, uh, yep. Basic speed, I think it's like um, 7,500 speed rotations per minute so all right yeah uh december 2016 wow so it's a few months old all right let's get it installed all right so my lighting does suck um apologize for that in advance but uh, this won't be too difficult i've already got this carousel right here or the cartridge that's where i'm going to be putting the hard drive so let me go ahead and get it in and I'll uh, screw it in place. Well, it's in there. Nice and tight, but it's in there. <laughs> All right, now that it's in there, got the TV on. Let's fire it up. And we'll go ahead and probably get the uh, disc allocated. It probably won't be automatic. Oasis. 
and this is running Windows 10 Professional. Oop. We're hitting a cable here. There we go. And off there. Yeah, not to worry about that noise. <laughs> RVR2. All right. Okay. So now we'll go to folder. Yeah, let's see, I got my 256 uh, gig solid state drive for my boot drive, and then my 4 terabyte and 6 terabyte already installed, but it does not see the 8 terabyte. So, yeah, let me go find it here in the system. Okay, in the control panel, just go under administrative tools, and we're looking for computer management. Storage, disk management. I found it. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let it do the GPT partition style. Not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. That's okay. And there it is. 7451.91 gigabytes. So, yeah, I lost over 500 gigs unallocated. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, convert to a dynamic disk and yeah, we'll call that disk 2. That's okay. Get that partition going. Do simple volume, yes. Yeah, maximum space 760, let's see, yeah, 7630756. And we'll call that H drive. Sounds good to me. And quick format NTFS. Finish. And it should convert it. There it is. New volume H. Healthy. Alright. So, primary partition. And it's mostly for storage, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this new volume to 8 TB. That'll work. Apply and okay. Yep, 8 terabyte. Sweet. I guess I could theoretically change that drive letter if I go back and change the disk drives. So I have D, E, and F drive. So, I'll do that at a later date, but yeah, it works. 8 terabytes, and you're only getting uh, 7.5 terabytes total of storage space on, on this massive hard drive. So, I'm going to have fun transferring a bunch of stuff over and uh, we'll wrap this video up. So, yeah, and the price of this ran about $285 from Newegg for those curious. So, there you go. If you're looking to get one for a massive storage space, uh, that's the biggest one out yet. Waiting for the 10 terabyte. That'd be nice. So it probably won't be much longer for it to appear. So yeah. There you go. 18 terabytes, not including the boot drive on this here entertainment computer. So until the next thrilling video. Adios.